Howdy everyone, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show Facts and Trivia, appreciate you being here. I have one more day of Facebook jail to go through and then I will be posting these on Facebook. Uh, viewership has gone down considerably, so I know where most of my viewers come from now is from Facebook. So, I will be posting these on Facebook. Uh, should be tonight sometime, I think I'm out. Uh, anyway, I appreciate you being here. Ask you, if you have not yet, please subscribe and do me a favor, especially now. If you guys have a Facebook account, share these out on Facebook. I need to get more viewership going. I'm not even breaking a 200 on the last two. So I appreciate that so much. Um, today, I want to go over something with you. If you hear it rumbling, I got somebody mowing outside. <laughs> um, here it is. Uh, when you think of who played the most characters on the Andy Griffith show, who comes to mind? For me, it was Alvin, Alan Melvin, uh, Sam the Butcher from the Brady Bunch, because he did a lot. Uh, and there were several that did a lot of characters. Uh, he wasn't even close. <laughs> uh, let's get into this, okay? Uh, I'll let you know who uh, did the most characters on the Andy Griffith show. And I'll tell you right up front, it's 13 different characters. And here we go. Uh, there's those faces you see again and again on the Andy Griffith show uh, that play minor characters. Uh, those random friends of Aunt B, upset citizens, farmers, business owners, eccentrics. Uh, to make matters even more confusing, the production enjoyed using the same batch of actors to play multiple characters. Also, there was very little consistency with continuity. For example, take Burke Muston, best known as the Old Man Judd, but sometimes spelled Judd or named Jubal. Um, Murray Lansing is the best example of these Mayberry bit players. She often played different characters, one single week apart. In the bed jacket, she's Mrs. Lukens, owner of a clothing store that Aunt B frequents. Seven days later, she popped up again in the bank job, getting her hair done. Only this time, she was Miss Roddenbach, as Marnie addresses her. In fact, Mary Lansing played at least 13 different characters in the Mayberry universe. Uh, she's best known as Martha Clark, wife of Emmett, uh, the handyman, uh, who owned a fix-a-shop, shop. you want to look at him. Um, and she settled into that role, um, into the role, into that role in the sitcom's color years, and carried over into the spinoff of Mayberry RFD. Prior to that, however, she was Miss Primrose, Miss Roundtree, Dorothy, and Mary. She made her debut in The Merchant of Mayberry as Mrs. Mason, a shopper buying six china cups. All in all, her thirteen various characters made her. Uh, the actress with the most roles of the Andy Griffith show. Robert McQueen hardly appeared more, but when he was billed as the newly wed man or one of the Jenkins men, it's difficult to tell if he's truly playing different guys. Lansing's work on the spinoffs put her in a league of her own. However, on Gomer Pyle USMC, she appeared as a librarian, cook, and maid. So who was Lansing? She made her debut in Happy Days. Uh, no, not with the hay and the woe and the fawns, and with Opie all rode up, <laughs> but rather a 1929 movie. Her voice could be heard in two classics. In Disney's Bambi, she was Aunt Edna and Mrs. Possum. A decade later, she was heard but not seen in I Love Lucy as the voice of Cynthia in Ethel's birthday. She is heard as the voice of a character in the stage play Over the Teacups. Martha Clark was her last major role. She worked on just one more show after that in 1974, a bit part, in the largely forgotten Apple's Way. She would give 14 more years, but never act again. And I, I remember Apple's Way. That was a pretty decent little show, I thought. I have got to oil this chair. Uh, I just thought, when I saw this, I was like, wow. Because Alan Melvin, as I say, Sam the Butcher, he was like seven times, I think. And... That face, that voice, you know, <laughs> it's hard, but but she really snuck around in there. I didn't catch all these. Uh, 
but I appreciate you being here. That's all I got for you. Uh, remember, I am in Facebook jail until tonight. Then I'll pop these in on Facebook. Please share these on Facebook with your friends uh, so I can get a few more viewers before I'm back into Facebook again. I really would appreciate that. And I really appreciate you guys commenting on the, the videos here on the YouTube channel. I'm really enjoying to get to know you. Um, so please keep that up. And if you haven't commented yet, comment. Let's get to know each other. Let's have some fun. And uh, have a great day. I'll catch you tomorrow. God bless. And I'll be praying for you.